Hello everyone, my name is Mr. N Jersey and welcome to my channel. In this video we are back with the next episode of the survival series here in Stormworks version 1. In this episode we're going to be adding an autopilot navigation system, we're going to be adding the navigation lights, we're going to be finishing that boarding room that we got started with in the last episode and just doing a few small touches like anchors and a few other things. But before we get started, if you are enjoying my videos, don't forget that like and subscribe button and while you're watching, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and what else you'd like to see in my future videos. So with that all said, let's get straight into it and get started with this video. So we are back with the next episode of the survival series here in Stormworks version 1. Now we're getting very far with this boat, almost to the point where we can go and start doing missions with it. Uh, pretty much everything's operational, however we are still missing a couple essential things on this boat. Uh, the first thing is I want to get a marine navigation system on here, so like a waypoint, one of my waypoint systems. I also want to get uh, navigation lights, so we're going to do that. Uh, along with that we also are going to get the anchors and the firefighting on the boat and we're hopefully going to finish the border room so that is the objective for this episode of the survival series you can see it's starting to snow here because we're obviously in christmas time now uh, so let's jump straight into the workbench and start working with this now luckily most of these systems like the waypoint system and also the navigation lights i've already got my controllers and also the whole setups already done for them uh, really on the workshop you guys can go and download them i'm going to use them because they're already done so we're going to go into my selection grid you can see i've already got the navigation light system just over here and i can literally paste it in uh, this has got everything you need in terms of lighting so we can pretty much go and replicate that on our own boat and use the mic controller it uses two one by one screens one is a touch one is uh, just a visual representation of the light so you don't have to look outside your boat and that's very useful for survival series of Korea where you don't have third person so being able to see what navigation lights you have on without going outside your creation is quite useful so I like this screen okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and build our left and right navigation so let's go and start by building something over here so we're going to go there and then possibly there and there and let's go and take some corner pieces and put that there uh, we can fill that in fill that in and let's go and get a light and we're going to throw a light in here perfect uh we're also going to fill in this last piece just over there and then we can go and take a black for example and paint this all in just make it look a little bit cooler uh we could even if we wanted to we could go and do that just to make something a little different. The whole point of that is that way you can see it from the front and the side, but you can't see it from the back. And that's pretty much what happens in real life. So now that we've got that in, we can of course go and paint those colors. So we're gonna to go to additive. We're gonna take symmetry mode off. We're going to do red on this side and we're going to do green on the other side. Perfect. So that takes care of the navigation lights on the left and right. Now we need the same thing at the top. Now I can go and replicate this, however I think it's probably just going to be easier if I just go and do that. And that gets everything there and we can just go and cut it, bring it up to the top here. All the logic stays intact which is perfect, we don't have to worry about redoing this logic. And we can go over here, bring it to where we want it, I'm pretty happy with it just over there. So we're going to paste it, make it one entity and then I'm going to go down the center and we're going to replace all this with pipes. Cool, so that's the navigation lights done. The next thing that I want to do is I want to get the mic controller and the screens in the creation. Now, if you guys remember from the last episode, I already have some extra screens over here, so I'm going to be using those uh, for this. So we can go literally take the logic, make sure the screens turn on when we come inside here. But there we go, two screens, one, two. Uh, we can make sure we have electricity going to all the lights. So we're going to go one, two, and these have already got electricity but we'll delete that battery that's over there on this example so we can delete that delete that delete that delete that delete that delete that uh, and we can literally just go and take this mic controller and go and put it inside our own creation so i've got some space underneath the creation over here for logic so we're going to put it over there we're going to rotate it and we're going to paste it make sure we connect it and now we can go and connect everything else up uh, we have left and right, green and red, so we're going to connect that and that. And I think the last thing we need to do is just the composite for the screen. So on the right hand side is going to be the touch screen where you can actually choose what navigation lights you want on. And on the left will just be the visual representation of it. So this is our 
actual control screen and this is our light screen. Cool. So that takes care of the navigation lights. In theory, that should all be working. So we can simply just go spawn that in and we can test it. So let's go up here, up the ladder, into the door. We're gonna get some electricity on the engine room and the bridge. And you can see the lights here. We can turn nav on. Cool. Let's go to photo mode. Yeah, so you can see the navigation lights are on. So we get the forward facing, rear facing, and then we get the left and right. Perfect. Uh, we can obviously turn nav off. We can do, for example, let's do ram lights. Okay, let's go outside. Yep, so those are working too. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the navigation lights. Uh, the next thing we can work on is my marine navigation system. So it's like an autopilot system, uh, so the boat can just go and do its own thing. Once again, I've got everything already set up, so we're just gonna go and take that my controller and that whole system and put it into our creation. Great, so I've got the marine navigation system just over here. Uh, what we need to do is we need to get the same things inside our own creation. So there's a buzzer, there is a compass, there is a GPS block, uh, there is also a keypad and a couple switches here that we can go and use. So let's go and put that into our creation. Now, what we're going to do is we've already got a two by two screen, which is right next to here. So we're going to use that, which is absolutely perfect. Uh, and then we can simply just go and put in the stuff that we need, which is going to go over there. So we're going to go and take this one and two, and we're going to go and cut it. I'm going to bring it up into our creation and I'm just going to go and finish all this off and then I'll meet you guys back when I've literally just gone and moved this all into place uh, and obviously connected all the logic. All right, so I've got the basics all gone and connected. The last thing we need to go and do is the throttle, the roll and also the steering. So there is actually theoretically no roll on this boat, so I'm not really going to worry about the roll too much. Um, steering is going to go. Let's go and find out where our steering is. So if I'm correct, we have the steering, which is here at the back, and that possibly just goes directly from the seat, which is great. We don't really have to worry about that too much. Let me just go and check where else it goes. So that goes into a microprocessor over here. Okay, cool. So we're going to go into steering here, and we're going to go and connect that all the way up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we've connected all the steering. Uh, this is already connected to the seat, so I don't have to connect anything else. Uh, and the last thing we is we have throttle. So I'm just gonna go to my seat once again, check where we have the throttle going. Okay, throttle's going into the two clutches, which is fine. Uh, we can literally just take that throttle and go into the two clutches. So clutch there and clutch up there. Uh, generator, I haven't kind of decided yet what we're doing with the generator, if we're gonna leave it open all the time, or if we're gonna maybe use a threshold gate, uh, so when the engine is producing enough RPS, then it's going to kick the generators in. But at the moment, we don't really need to worry about that. Uh, okay, so that should be everything we need for the navigation system. I'm just going to do one last check and make sure everything is connected. That is, uh, do we have electricity? We do. Great. Okay, so let's spawn that in. Let's see if this navigation system is going to work. We might need to invert a few things, but I don't think so, to be honest. Uh, let's go over here. Let's get some power on. Don't need the orcs. Okay, navigation system is in the right direction, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, let's say that we wanted to go to here. Okay, we're gonna put a waypoint in. Okay, so it's just over there. Uh, we should be able to theoretically turn the key switch to get our engines running. And then make sure our RPS is like 18. Turn the navigation system on, so AP on. Okay, so it's increasing its throttle. It should be turning towards number one. Cool, so that's working. This waypoint system is gonna be really helpful for when you do missions here in Stormworks. Especially with a little bit of slow vessel where you need to wait. Okay, so yeah, we've got a little bit closer. So I wanna change a few settings on the mic controller just to make sure it doesn't jump up and down like that. Um, but I'm pretty happy with that because now we're on the spot. So yeah. Not going to complain with that uh, let's bring this back into the workbench and we can carry on building so we've got the navigation lights we've got the waypoint system is what i wanted to add onto the boat so that's great we can start adding some more things maybe at the top here like 
uh, some things about weather, maybe some things about a radio, maybe a clock. Uh, so we can start doing a whole bunch of things here at the top of the boat, uh, which would be quite useful. Not really essential just yet. Uh, I wouldn't say it's essential at all. Let's go and while, while we're here, let's go and put some horns on this boat. Uh, obviously it is a ship, so it'd be quite useful to have some horns. So we can go and put a few, maybe that's probably a little bit overkill for this boat. Um, maybe just bring it to two. Yeah, let's just leave it as two for now. So two horns on the other side, make sure we've got some electricity. I'm going to connect that to, let's see the bridge, electricity, electricity. And then I'm going to go on to my seat. I'm just going to use the seat as, let's see. So horn, okay, toggle, let's make it a push. And let's go to number two, one, and oh, we already have two connected to something. What did we have that connected to? Oh, we had to connect to the gearbox. Okay. Um, we could, let's see, let's use three then. So this was gearbox, so gearbox and two will be horn, three will be horn. Sorry. We're going to make that a push. Okay. So number three and make sure that goes to the horn and make sure it goes to the horn. Okay, so we've got the horn, we've got the marine navigation system, we have the marine navigation lights. Uh, let's go and do this boarding room. Okay, so we need some seats and things for people when they get in the boat. So we're going to have to get a few things in for that. So let's start with some seating for these people. Now there's different ways we could go around doing this. Uh, I'm thinking just probably the easiest way would be to do like a line of seats down the center. Uh, leave a little bit of space over there and do that. And we're going to use the the small little bench seats, if, if you guys know what I mean by that. So if you go to seat, um, you have these ones. So we're going to use those. We could even make it a little bit smaller, to be fair. Um, but I think I'm happy with these. So let's go and put a bunch of these in here. One, two, three, and there we go. And delete these extra blocks. Uh, we can even color this in and make it look a little bit better later on. Uh, let's do some seat backs. So for seat backs, I like to just use a mic controller. So if you go in, let's just delete that. Go on, get an empty mic controller. So I have some empty ones here. There we go. So you can use these. Uh, so you can kind of get an idea of what they look like. So. That's what they look like. Cool. So you can see how that looks in there. We can, if we want to, we can also change the color of this so we can make it like a bluish color. Uh, I'm probably also going to paint the walls of this room and make this room look a little bit more interesting. So maybe red along the wall like this. Just give it just a little bit of different texture, really. Let's go and paint all that. Uh, cool. Here for the seats, um, we're going to do some detailing underneath here later on. So I'm going to put some, I don't know, some handles and maybe just make it look pretty cool with paint blocks and things. Uh, for the seat colors, we can pretty much do anything we want to. So I could do in a blue color uh, like that. We could do color wise. I don't like that blue. So let's change it maybe a dark red color. Yeah, let's do a dark red color for the seats. Uh, and then down the center here, we could do pretty much anything we wanted to. I could just go and make a huge divide here. Uh, I don't think that's going to look that great. So I'm probably just going to go and fill it into about there. Uh, so you can see this is a big seating area for when people walk in. We can put all kinds of people just over here. Uh, I'm thinking of maybe doing like an equipment rack over here against the wall. That could probably be quite useful, to be honest. So if we were to go and literally grab maybe that and that and that and that, and then just fill that in with some, some equipment. So let's go and find some equipment. Cool. So we're going to go with some things that you would need for people. So I'm probably going to go with like a defib, maybe some medical equipment. Uh, so two defibs will probably be useful. A whole bunch of medical aid equipment here. Pretty much anything you would need for when you're boarding people in the boat. Uh, we can probably get some flares. You can imagine this is where you would come and equip yourself before you go out on a mission. So let's just go and put a whole bunch of flares there. We can do, let's see, remote controllers. No, I'm not too worried. We can do some radios. Uh, it's always useful to have some radios. 
So three radios. Okay. What else can we get? Anything that's going to be useful. Oxygen masks. Yes, that could always be useful. Can add some binoculars to. Let's go and get some night vision binoculars. So we'll probably get two of those and then two regular binoculars. Uh, some flashlights could be useful too. We'll paint all of this later on. Uh, let's get some regular binoculars. And then we have a little bit of extra space at the bottom, which we can fill in with a transponder could be useful. Uh, let's do a radio signal locator because you never know when you might need one of those. Uh, and then we can fill in the bottom part with another radio, why not? Okay, cool. So we've got a nice big equipment wall with pretty much everything you would need. Uh, we can go and paint it. So I like to do orange for my radios, orange for my lights and orange for that. And then for the defib, I like to do a green. Cool. So now we've got a nice little equipment wall. So as people walk in, we can go and store things. Uh, we could also delete this part here. Like so I'm actually going to just enable symmetry again and we can make this place where you can get some clothing. So once again, equipment. So we go down and find the equipment. You will see there are some empty ones that we can use. So empty ones like this and you can go and put some empty ones like that against the wall. That way you can put some clothing or anything else, big items that you might have carried through from somewhere. Uh, you can go and stick them on the wall. Uh, and yeah, that should hopefully be quite nice and useful. If we want to add more detailing in here, we could even just go and put some pipes like up to the wall like that. Cool. Uh, and then down here, as I said earlier, we can do any type of detailing that we want to. So grab some fluid ports. Pretty much up to you on what type of detailing you want to do. So fluid ports and then like these pieces here, you could use that and just create a little bit of a different look to it in theory uh, over here you could fill this in once again with um more fluid ports yeah and just make it look a little bit different cool so that's the boarding room done uh let's move on to the anchors at the front of the boat so we're going to grab some winches so let's get some winches here we're going to go with let's go with a reddish color yeah i think the reddish color might look pretty cool uh, we're going to put the put them probably about let's see probably about here yeah here should be good so we're going to delete that off put that in so we then have two winches on either side which is great we might actually just close this in by one there we go and then these pieces we might just slope it slope this whole thing down here in the front there we go and we're just going to fix the painting so green and this is blue and this is blue Cool. We could even go and get the inverse permits and use those because that might create a little bit of a better look here. Yeah. Invert, rotate, uh, and paint that. So green, right, green, cool. So that's where our winches are going to be at the front. Uh, and then pretty much how you go and build a winch system is you need to obviously have a different body. So to create a different body, you can use suspensions, you can use pivots, you can use pretty much anything. I like to just use a pivot here. And then there we go. That is our anchors on either side. Now we're going to use a anchor. And we're going to use an electrical one because the electrical one, you can actually send stuff through it. Uh, so for example, we need to send through a on off for the mag or. So that's why we're going to be using this. And we're going to use an electrical cable to connect that together. Uh, so we can just go one, two, and get a maggle. Cool. Where is it? There we go. And we don't want too big of anchors, so probably something like that. And we could possibly go and do something like that if we wanted to. And we could replace this with a weight block just to make it a little bit heavy so it does sink. Uh, to the ground because remember if you don't have any weight on this it's literally just going to sit sit there <laughs> and not do anything uh, so we're just going to play around with this and make it look a little bit decent i might just leave it like that uh to be honest just something yeah something a little different uh cool so two weight blocks there we need to of course go and connect the cable so we're going to do that and that and that 
uh, and then for the controls for this, uh, we can do this very simple control panel on either side. But uh, you want to make sure that when you go here, you do on off and you can see here that this is going to go to the mag or. OK, so from the connector to the mag or. And that means that when you come over here, you'll see this has a simple on off. That's the on off to go and literally go and drop the anchors. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go with a simple panel. We're going to use that. We're going to go and get a composite panel. Cool. We're going to go over there. We're going to change the color to the red color again, and we're probably just going to go and do something like something like that. Uh, just for now, we could we could change that. We could do something like that instead. Uh, just be sure when you putting these panels down, don't have symmetry mode on because it literally flips the gauges, which you don't really want to do. You don't want to flip the gauges on there. Um, cool. So we have that on there. The next thing we're going to do is we obviously need to configure it. So I'm actually going to delete the second one because I'm just going to configure the first one and I'm going to literally reproduce it on the other side. So we're going to need a arrow and that's going to be arrow to go, um, to bring the winch up. And then we're going to do another arrow on instrument number three. We're going to put this one down and say so that's number two. And then we're going to do, let's see over here, we can do maybe the winch length. Okay, and that's gonna be a dial. Let's do zero. And if I'm correct, I can't remember the larger winches, how far they go out. I know the small ones are like 16 or 17. This one goes out 100 meters. Okay, cool. So we're going to say that that has a maximum of 100 meters. Cool. And we're going to say it's three and then number four will be our mag all so mag all and that's going to be a flip switch and that's going to be number four cool so that's simple controls for that and what you do is select it and just copy and literally put another one there and then we'll create a mic controller that will go and operate all that so jump in the mic controller and we're going to do winch for survival series cool we do one two three four should one two three we might need a little bigger so let's do that size uh, we're going to go into the logic let's do composite in we'll need a composite out we're going to need winch length in so number in which is winch length we're going to need a on off out on off out and on off out so we're going to have up, down, and Magor. Perfect. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. So we've got just enough space. Uh, logic wise, it's relatively easy to set this up. Uh, all we need to do is go in, separate this all out like I usually do with this. Uh, and now we can just start reading or writing on the composite. So we're going to go in, we're going to grab a read. Uh, let's do read number. Actually, no, we need to do a write number. So let's do write number. So we're going to write this number, which is, this is the winch length, which if I'm correct was number three. So we're going to go and say it's number three. Cool. And we're going to put that into the panel. Then from the panel, we're going to read the up, down and the mag all. So we're going to need three reads. There we go. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. And we're going to say this is going to be one was for up. Two was down. And this one was number four, which was the mag all. Uh, we want to make sure, actually, that's fine. We don't need to put anything else in there. That should theoretically be everything. So we're going to go winch survival series, go to save, save it in, close it, go to our inventory, find it. And we will need two of those. Now I could put them over here just to give it like a little bit more detailing, but we're actually going to hide them inside the creation like I usually do with most of my logic. So we're going to put one there and one there. And now we can just connect all the logic for it. Um, just make sure the winch has some electricity. So I always want those on to be on. So we're going to go directly from the battery. Cool. So there and there. And that should be fine. Cool. Let's connect all the logic up. So we have to the panel and then from the panel and to the 
panel and then from the panel electricity is done video we don't need audio we don't need and rope we don't need uh we can just do the data now so winch length and winch length i want to make sure the winch actually moves quite fast so i'm going to do about four speed on the winch we can adjust that later if need be uh we can also do up and down so down and up and maggle which is that down up and maggle which is on off all right and the last thing we need to do before we can go and test it is we need to go and make sure we have the electricity connected from the actual anchor over to the maggle and the same thing on the other side okay so that way we're going to get electricity that's going to go through it and now we can go and spawn it in so let's go and jump on the creation let's go and test to see if this is going to work so up and down yeah perfect we can get the maggle on there we go so you can hear the maggles being connected so yep it's gotten connected to the ground there uh, we can obviously pull up here and that should now pull our boat down the water because obviously we're connected to the ground um, so that's pretty cool i'm pretty happy with that because now we have a anchor system in the boat we could even put some controls up in the top there um, but i don't really need to so i'm not going to um great so that is the winch system we've done the boarding room let's go and actually have a look at the boarding room let's see how this is going to look yeah that's pretty cool i think that looks quite nice in there uh we need to do some more painting i've got the red there on that side of the wall uh, but we have all of our stuff in here wherever we need it uh yeah while i'm here i'm actually going to exchange my flashlight because my flashlight's dead um cool the next thing we're going to move on to is going to be the firefighting. So we have a couple different options for firefighting. We can do what I'm thinking of doing is just to go and put some outlets for now. We might put some cannons at a different time, a later time, but I want to just do some outlets throughout the creation. So I'm going to try and find a nice, hopefully a nice strategic place to put these. Um, so it looks quite decent. So probably, so I'm going to put symmetry mode on. So we're going to go with a outlet over there. Uh, yeah let's do an outlet over there we can do another one here at the back so maybe over there could be a cool place too so we're gonna have one there one there don't think we need any more and i don't think we need any up here because we can just use the ports there uh cool so once i got that in we're gonna put some actual paint blocks that way we know that these are for firefighting so paintable yeah paintable sign there we go Right, and we're going to do another one over there. Jump into the painting. We're going to do replace color. And we're going to replace both of those colors there. Both of those colors there. And over there and over there. And now we can just create a simple sign. So we're going to use a reddish color. Now let's go with something like that. And we're going to go onto it and we're going to say firefighting. Okay, so that way you know. We're actually probably going to go one up on that. Uh, so let's go and delete that. And there we go. So firefighting, great. And we're going to repeat the same process on all sides here. Cool, so that is the firefighting king care of. Uh, we can also add some actual hoses. Uh, because of course, <laughs> if you're doing this, you need some hoses. Um, so we have a couple options. We could do possibly exposed or we can actually do it inside so something like like that uh we could actually do it underneath the yeah yeah actually i think that's fine uh we can do the same thing just over here perfect okay now of course we do need to get those connected up to something and that's specifically the reason why i did it here where there was some backing because now i can go down over there and inside here is where we have this so we can go down over here uh, and we can pretty much just run piping through here and down which is absolutely perfect exactly what i wanted to do uh so we can go down there we're going to connect that up to a pump we're probably going to bring this one across and then down so we're going to connect that up too so let's go down over there cool let's get some enclosed pipes so change color close straight pipe which is this one over there there and we can pretty much bring that straight up like so and get a corner piece pipe angle 
Great. Put that in there. One, two, three, four, done. And we're going to do the same thing over here. This time we just don't need to put enclosed pipes. We can just do bare pipes like that. Exposed because there's nothing. We're not going to be going in here, so it's fine. Uh, so that is that connected. We can go down and now we can just get that down into there. And there's another pipe, which is over there. So we can pretty much just run that along, I think. Uh, we could run it along this piece here and then bring it across. That could be pretty cool. Okay, let's see how that would look. So we would go from there. Let's do red there. And let's do there. And then here we're going to go down into the hull where we're going to put a pump. And we're just going to have one pump on either side, I think. So we're just going to go to about there. Uh, we'll use some enclosed pieces and then we'll put a pump underneath here or find somewhere nice to put this pump. So possibly over there would be great. Okay, uh, let's take that. Let's get an enclosed straight piece. Cool. So that's the enclosed straight piece. Let's just finish this piping. So we're going to go and grab the red color and we're going to go all the way back here. It's fine. So let's go all the way over here. We're just going to carry on going until about there. And we can go and grab that. Grab that. And we can just get this connected. Perfect. Cool. So that is the firefighting done. Pretty happy with that. Uh, we just need to obviously add our pump in here. So let's see where this comes out there yeah there we go great so we're just gonna go in here add a pump so we could add pumps along the walls if we want to that could be another another cool way of doing some detailing uh, let's see so fluid in so we need to get it the other way around like that and this is gonna go and get connected to that perfect and then that's just going to get a simple fluid port underneath it great Okay, and that's that taken care of. Uh, we can obviously paint that if we want to. If anyone's going to come down here and look at it, then it is all painted, which is pretty cool. Okay, so that's taken care of. Uh, there's obviously a little bit of block missing here, but not too worried about that. Uh, we obviously need some logic and some panels for that. So I'm going to just do some simple composite panels, uh, just similar to like how we did the winch. So I'm going to get that done and then I'll meet you guys back when that's finished. Okay, so we're going to create a little mic controller just for the four, uh, the four fluid port outlets. Four fluid ports, uh, two pumps, and we're going to call this survival series. Perfect. Make sure we copy that. Uh, we're going to need one composite input because I'm actually going to daisy chain all those little panels together. So we just need one input and then we need two outputs. So that's going to go to the two different pumps. So we're going to do left pump and right pump perfect make sure it's out and make sure it's out go into the logic and we're simply going to go get a four let's see where our... we're going to do read and we're going to have four of those because we have four switches then we're going to do or so one and two and then we have the actual pumps themselves okay so one and two is on the left Perfect, so we're going to put that there. And then three and four is on the other side. Cool, we're going to go into there. One, two, three, four, five, four. Okay, either one of those switches on and it turns the pump on. Either one of those switches on and it turns the pump on. Perfect. Uh, we can go and save that. So four parts, we can go and get it inside here find some space in our creation once again wherever we have space which is here uh we're going to daisy chain all the composite so there we go so from there into this one from that one into this one and from that one into this one and then into our panel and then we have just the simple right pump which is there and the left pump which is there Put some electricity on this. We're going to directly connect it to the battery because you never know when you might need those pumps. Everything might be switched off and you might need to put those pumps on. So that's just the reason why I've gone and connected that. Uh, that should go and work. So let's go and spawn that in. Uh, let's test those pumps to make sure they work. 
So grab the hose. Uh, I think I already have a hose, don't I? So we're going to connect it, pump on. And there we go. We've got firefighting. Quite strong also. I can get pretty far. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, cool. Let's just test all of them. So we'll test this one, for example. Pump on. There we go. And it works. And turn the pump off if we want. Uh, cool. So that is a lot done. We still need a few more things. The last thing I probably want to do on the creation is I want to put the remote control for the crane, although we probably don't need this just yet. Um, there's not really any missions that we need to do that require us to actually start lifting things. Unless we want to start doing some cargo missions, uh, then we would probably need that. But that pretty much covers the basics that I think we need. Maybe in the next episode, we can actually go and start doing some missions with this boat. Um, but yeah, anyway, I think that's a great place to end this episode off with. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What did you enjoy about this episode? What do you want to see done in the next one? Uh, and are you looking forward to it? And as always, I hope you have enjoyed this and for maintaining and informative as always, and we'll see you in the next one.